hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we'll be cutting and sewing a v-shaped scrub neckline and it's very easy and simple to make and it's beginners friendly so before we get started kindly click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification for more updates from me so without wasting much of your time let's get right into the video so to make this v-shaped scrub neckline we have our basic tools we have our interfacing which i'm going to use to infuse these two bands which is going to be for the neckline and i have already cut our basic half scale bodies so let's get right into the video so to cut this neckline i folded the fabric in half and this is the folded part so the next thing to do is to take the neck width and then the neck depth so i'm taking four inches for the neck width and then for the neck depth i'm going to be marking eight inches you can go more than eight inches or you can mark five six or seven inches but i'm taking eight inches that's the neck depth and it's a v-shaped scrub neckline so from this eight inches i'm going to go in by half an inch so i'm going to get my stretch ruler and then connect from this four inches point to meet this half inch here so basically this is it so what i'll do now is to cut it out So let me open it up to see how the neckline look. This is our neckline. So these two bands are going to be on the neck. So I'm taking it to my ironing board and I'm going to iron interfacing on half of the band. So I'm going to iron on both two bands and come back and show you how to fix it on the neck. So I'm done ironing the interfacing on the bands this is it this is how it look so let me give you the measurement i used for the length of this band i used 14 and a half inches times two because i cut two pieces we need two pieces for the neck and then the width is four inches exactly so what i'm doing now is i'm going to pin the band on the neck I pin also this the interfacing part is up so when I flip it inside it will come to the good side so I'm going to pin it down and we cut the excess we'll still be cutting the excess after finishing stitching the band I'm going to pin this one down So this is it. So what I'm going to do now is to come down this opening edge and then mark half an inch from the line, from the opening here. I'm going to mark half an inch inward. So this half an inch is where the stitch is going to stop. When you start stitching from the top to end on this mark, this half an inch, and I'm going to mark the same half an inch here. So I'm going to take it to my machine, run a stitch here, and then run also a stitch here. But the stitch all is going to end on this half an inch mark. So let me take it to my machine, sew it, and then come and show you the next thing. So guys, after stitching it, this is how it looks. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to turn it to the wrong side. So guys, you see where the stitch ends? Hope you can see it. I'm going to notch from this corner to where the stitch ends and on this corner to where the stitch ends. So just look at how I'm doing it. I'm not going to cut on this pink one. So let me just do it like this for you to understand. I'm going to raise this pink and then cut to where the stitch ends. But make sure that you don't cut it through the stitches. And then on this side, so 
what I'm going to do now is to flip the two bands inwards. Nice. And then you flip this also inside. You see what I'm doing? Yes. Make sure that both are lined nicely. Then you raise it, arrange the pink nicely. You see this one that we notched? We are going to arrange it well. You see? You see how neat it looks? You see, it overlap up to the end of this corner. That's how your band should overlap. Not to overlap in the middle. It should overlap completely to the end. So we'll see that when we iron it, everything you see. So this is how it looks. So let me turn it like this again to show you. So what I'm going to do now is to stitch on this like so. Not to stitch on the fabric where you cut. You just stitch at the edge where I mark. Okay, we are going to cut out the excess. So I'm going to take it to my machine. And then stitch here. Iron it neatly. Trim up the excess here. And then come and show you the finishing look. So guys, after ironing it and stitching the lower part, you see I've cut out the excess. This is how beautiful our V-shaped scrub neckline look like. You see how beautiful it look? And you see how it's overlap here? This is how the back look like after finishing it. You see, I cut out the excess. So guys, we have come to the end of today's video. If you find this video helpful and useful, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Share my video with family and friends. And also comment for YouTube to recommend my videos. And if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so by hitting on the subscribe button. And also turn on your bell notification to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.